Hello everyone, this is Jin, a TCM practitioner and instructor in Victoria, BC, Canada. Here is my online class for Pathology. This class specially for TCM students. The book we used I put below here. I help I can help the students to study and review for the class. Okay, let's start. Let's talk here about the liver illness. So liver is a very important organ. Uh, we learn like anatomy and then we learn physiology. We're talking about the liver have a lot of functions. Like uh, they help to digest, especially for fat. Yeah. They produce in the bill. The bill help the fat digest. And the liver also have function. Like we did talking about the plasma protein. Most the plasma protein producing in the liver. And the liver other functions. We're talking about renew toxins. So any kind of chemical go to the liver, including some medication, go to the liver and perform some metabolism in the liver, like renew the toxins, changing some chemical structure. And uh, certainly, liver have some other functions, like we're talking about our red blood cell leaving time about 120 days. After 120 days, they broken in the liver and the spleen. And some part can reuse, other part relieved from the liver. And also, liver dealt with all the nutrition the absorption from the small intestine and the change in the form of body can use. So that the liver is a very, very important organ. If liver have a problem, they infected our body in lot of aspects. So liver illness, we're talking about the three very common illness. The first one we're talking about virus hepatitis. So hyper means liver. Hepatitis means inflammation. So hepatitis is liver inflammation. Liver inflammation can caused by the different reasons. One pretty common reason is virus infection. So virus infection, we have different kind of virus. We have hepatitis A virus. We have hepatitis B virus. And hepatitis C virus. And also D. And E. So basically, we have five different kinds of hepatitis. But A, B, C more commonly than C and E. So we're only talking about A, B, C. Yeah. We're only talking about hepatitis A, B, C. Other things still can cause the liver infection, like some medication. People use medication for a long term. This kind of chemicals pretty similar like toxins. Long term still damage the liver function, cause liver infection. So we put another category here for drugs or maybe toxin kind of hepatitis. The third one Yes, the third one, when they coming from hepatitis. 
What I were, drugs hepatitis, or maybe virus hepatitis. They damage liver for long term. And I still remember we talked about the cell and the tissue be damaged. They try to heal it. They try to fix it. They have two ways to heal it. One way healing we call it regeneration. So regeneration kind of healing is kind of repaired by the original cells. We have another kind of healing we call repaired. Repaired is used like a fabric inside of original cells. Usually similar like we talked about scar tissue inside of original tissue in there. So that happens in this illness. Long term chronic damage cause liver infection. Some fabric in there, scar tissue inside of the liver, and cause the this illness. Certainly, they will lose liver's functions, and even the shape, they will shrinking, changing to smaller, and the texture is more harder. We will talk about about later detail. So basically for liver illness, we have another common severe one. We talk about the liver cancer. But the liver cancer part, uh, we have talking already. We especially talking about the neoplasm. Yeah. Neoplasm is kind of abnormal tissue growth, including the cancer including the benign and the cancer. So we finished that part already. If we buy the like organ illness, we should include in the liver cancer. So basically liver illness we talk about the development. Uh, hepatitis can development got severe changing, fibrous kind of changing in the liver and also can development to the liver cancer for a long term. And especially, especially after fibric changing in the liver, can got the liver cancer. So that's uh, four illness, so close relationship with each other. Then we're talking about the illness one by one. Let's go to various hepatitis first. They say various hepatitis is caused by the virus, but it's a different kind of virus. They cause the same problems, but the virus is different. So that's the name the virus name. Yeah. Virus A, virus B. Virus C, virus D, virus E. Yeah. So that's the first H hepatitis. A means virus A. V is virus. So that's the name, virus name. HAV, HAV, HPV, HPV. Same way. So what means virus hepatitis? Hepatitis means inflammation happens in the liver. So liver inflammation usually caused by virus. It's not that common caused by bacteria. It's not like lung. Lung infection can cause by both virus and bacteria. Uh, liver infection mainly caused by virus. So that's what we say pretty commonly we got hepatitis A, B, C. But we have D and E. 
So that's generally we're talking about various hepatitis. So, so we say hepatitis A is not that severe, not that severe. Uh, they don't have effective the medication or drugs to treat it, but it's a self-limited illness. So that means people can cure it by itself, by the immunity systems. So basically, it will be taking two to six months, and then people will be recovered. So hepatitis A is acute illness. Usually, they will not change into chronic. They will not change into chronic hepatitis. So that's basically we're talking about uh, hepatitis A. And some people have hepatitis A. The symptoms is pretty mild. And even sometimes no symptoms. So that's basically, but severe, severe kind of hepatitis A mainly happens in the adults. So adults, symptoms more severe. Children, urine, symptoms more mild. So hepatitis A, like the video say, is a contaminated kind of illness means people touching some like a water and a food or even superficial of the place is touching by patient with the hepatitis A. Then the people may be got the illness. So usually it happens after two to three weeks and then patient will get infected. So that's hepatitis A. We're talking about that face with oral contamination. So that kind of virus mainly relieved by the patient, by the ball movement, by the stool. Instruction kind of patient. And then other people to touch it. Then got this you know, Then we're talking about uh, symptoms with uh, hepatitis A. But uh, generally pretty, pretty similar like uh, all kinds of uh, hepatitis. So the symptoms, we talking about people generally tired, people really tired, like other young uh, people feel sick. Then, also nausea and vomiting because we're talking about liver is the organ help to digestion. When liver have trouble, infected digestion function. Pretty similar like RTPI. You need to take a look at how many of these are able to Some students might not close there. Yeah. Can you? So, okay, thank you. Yeah. So some people will have nausea and vomiting. So when people have nausea and vomiting, they feel more sick, certainly. And the poor appetite, don't want to eat. And also can cause abdominal painful. Especially on upper right side, right below the rib. So that's basically liver's location. We say basically liver protected by the rib. So normally, normally that's the liver, but under the rib cage. But if patient have hepatitis, we talk about liver infections. Liver will be getting bigger, swollen there. That's basically the painful area. Yeah. 
that uh, three particular people are. Uh, then we talk about the stool. Yeah. Stool is nice color in there. Yeah. Nice color of the stool. Not specially the used word. Uh, but generally say it's a lighter color. More go to white color. Because we're talking about the liver have issue, some blocking, yeah, some blocking. Uh, we're blocking the bill back there. And the light pigments release from the bill to the small intestine. And people losing appetite. And the inflammation kind of illness always got some fever. Hepatitis A kind of fever is low degree, it's not that high. But when we talk about the fever, still higher than 37.5 over. Usually go to 38.5, not over 39. That's low degree kind of fever in there. And the dark urination. Dark urination here means darker yellow. Darker yellow. So normal urination is a little bit yellow color. But this kind of patient, more darker yellow. That's still the bill not renewed to the small intestines and blocking there. The pigment go back, follow the blood circulation, and then go to the kidney. So that's still the same reason there. And from the kidney, relief to the urine. Then the typical symptoms, we talk about yellow color on the skin and also on the eyes. Yeah. Yellow skin, yellow eyes. That's medical words we use for dandy. So that's the uh, like immediately some people know, oh, that patient got hepatitis. Not only hepatitis A, also for other type of hepatitis. And then patient feel itchy. Basically itchy on the skin. Yeah, basically itchy on the skin. Still because the bill and some toxin stuff couldn't relieve to the urine. To the, to the small intestine, and then they follow by, go to blood circulation, some relieved by the urine, but couldn't totally relieve. So that's go to the skin, cause the skin itching. So that's the mainly clinical symptoms. 